afternoon, Howard Wig, Code Green, Sync Tech Hawaii, November 23rd, 2020. It gives me great pleasure today to talk about or have as my guest one of the easily, one of the greenest realtors in the entire state of Hawaii, Miss Christina Langley Mitre. Is that how you pronounce your name? I probably messed it up, Christina. Um, Lainey Mitri or Mitre. Lainey Mitri, okay. And she has been, she's received all kinds of awards. And I know from a lot of other seminars, a lot of other activities, that whenever there's a green event related to especially housing, Christina is right there, front and center leading the pack. So I'm very, very honored to, to have you with us uh, th this morning, Christina. Before I let you launch, let me set the, the table a little bit. All of us are stuck at home thanks to the COVID. And as with anything, there's silver linings. One is that we don't get to spend money in fancy restaurants. We don't get to spend money on travel. Therefore, our bank accounts are just full, 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 full up to overflowing, <laughs> maybe. So uh, one trend that is happening as a result, especially since people are looking around their own homes and uh, uh, condos more, is they're saying, wow, this place could really use a fix up. Let's renovate. And sure enough, one reason why the economy is pouring along at uh, fairly good levels is that renovation has become very, 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 very popular. And Christina, among other talents, is a great decorator, has a great artistic sense. And what I would like us to focus on, Christina, is if people want to renovate, and this comes right on the heels of your having founded your new business, Smart Living Hawaii, where you can combine renovations with not just energy efficiency, which as a member of the Hawaii State Energy Office is near and dear to my heart. We're the leading state shooting for 100% clean energy. And as we reduce energy use in homes and buildings, we get closer and closer to that goal. So not only are we reducing people's utility bills, but we're improving health and comfort. And Lord knows that these days we are very, very health conscious. And part of that, I have no need to remind you, Christina, is good air circulation what really, really breeds the COVID is if you have several people or many people in a confined space and the air circulation is pretty stagnant. That is the magnet for the COVID. So with that, why don't you talk, begin by talking about uh, your new business. Oh, let's see, I should congratulate her. Christina recently got promoted to being a Hawaii Energy Ally. Hawaii Energy is the outfit that gives rebates away for your purchasing energy efficient appliances. And it's a rare breed that gets promoted to be a Hawaii Energy Ally and gets on their, their recommended list. So congratulations, Christina. And why don't you start by talking a bit about what Smart Living Hawaii does? Okay, well, Smart Living Hawaii Foundation is originally started because I started podcasts on different sustainable initiatives across the state. And I interview different sustainable leaders across the state and most, most of them are here on Oahu and like you, Howard. <laughs> and what I end up doing is posting them on all the different platforms for podcasts, but we also have and hope to be an area um, where you can go online and learn more about the sustainable initiatives that are that Hawaii is doing. So that's kind of the goal. And while I was doing this and learning so much 
through all these different um, nonprofits and government agencies and things with, on sustainability, I realized how much this connects to real estate. And real estate by trade is my um, forte, and I've been in the industry for around 16 years. And um, just recently has this become a movement for, um, I would say across the country. So there are some states mm -hmm. like California and some other states that are maybe about 10 years ahead of us when it comes to a green home or um, building in that capacity. And I know you guys, Howard, are doing so much to bring our building code up to standard. Um, so that's kind of where I'm making a little bit of a niche in that area in addition to residential real estate and um, helping Hawaii in general, you know, if they have any questions about how to make their home more green, or if there's things that they're doing currently and how to save on electricity bills, um, I kind of just want to be the resource. And that's what our team is focused on it. Um, you know, we can point you to any direction. So if you are, you know, we walk into your home and see what you have, you know, I can at least give you, you know, a guide to where you should go you know, when it comes to the home that you have, or maybe a future home that you're wanting to purchase. So that's kind of what we try to offer our services. Thank you. You, you answered one question. You actually do go into homes in person rather than remotely. And <laughs> yes. personally, uh, very, very much uh, uh, favor that uh, young people are born with a computer in their hands. And I think maybe they feel more at home with electronics than they do one-on-one, uh, -on -one. but I think most of us will much prefer the in-person type interview and then you can really, really get uh, specific. So let's say it's a, a, a client of yours is uh, have an 1800 square foot home, maybe 30 years old, ready for renovation, husband, wife, two kids, you walk in, what type of things do you begin to discuss and what type of things do you uh, look at when, when you walk into this home? I think it really depends on what their goals are. So, I mean, how long are they wanting to spend in the home? Is this a home they're looking to sell and you know, to take into consideration what other people might look at? Um, some homes are very specific to the owner um, and uh, if they're looking at possibly selling in the next five years, then when you do renovations, you wanna take into consideration uh, what the most amount of people would be interested in. So when it comes to energy efficiency, um, that's definitely an area where you can spend a lot of money, <laughs> right, um, to save money. Um, but there's also a lot of smaller things that you can do to your home that will help you know, early, you know, just right now, right away. And um, if you want to be more specific on little items that you can do for your entire home, uh, I usually then, and it's, they're really interested in doing that. I, I introduce them to Pono Home. I don't know if you're familiar with that company, but Pono Home will actually come into your house and do an energy audit on your home. And it's like an over a hundred point check on your home and then you know from there they'll tell you about how much you would save and the things that you can do that won't cost too much and you know a lot of it is handyman kind of work where you would be able to either do by yourself or you could even hire them I mean they'll even you know give your proposal as well and then there's also to the extent of oh you want to do you need, you know, maybe solar or you're wanting to do solar water heaters. Like there's a whole like wide range of things that you can do. And um, it really comes down to your budget for one and where you use the most of your energy costs go to, you know, and that's that's kind of a big thing. AC is a big thing right now. Um, it's been hot up until I would say what, two weeks ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so split ACs, I think a lot of people have been putting them in. And I think a lot of people do not realize how much just a regular window AC unit runs um, mm -hmm, your electricity mm -hmm. bill up super high. So that's one thing to, if all you're doing is looking for AC and you know a more cost-effective route, 
you know, it does cost a little bit more for them, but your return on investment over, you know, quick, quick time, it's worth it for sure. And let, let me interject a little bit. I happen to know a teeny, teeny, teeny little bit about that. Uh, the window unit AC units that uh, most of us grew up with, number one, as Christina said, they're very, very inefficient. Number two, a lot of, most of them are noisy. And you take that out and you put in a split system, which looks a whole lot better. It's just this big plastic thing that's on the wall, usually high up on a wall. And it's very, very quiet. And it's easily twice as efficient. What do we mean by efficient? Easiest to gauge there is miles per gallon. The split system, I would say, will get easily twice as many miles per gallon measured in the cold air out versus uh, water gym. And one beautiful part of split systems is they're small or they're available in small. So say you have uh, two bedrooms uh, upstairs, you can have one split system per bedroom and that's used only when the occupant of that bedroom wants it as it, when they uh, go to bed. They want a nice cool environment, boom, they go in, turn it on, boom, they've got a cool environment to sleep in. They leave in the morning, turn it off again. That is really efficient. And then ditto with say the living room, dining room, so forth, you can have one split system per and just use it when, when you want to. And they, they consume really a small amount of energy. I'm friends with the distributor of the, uh, the largest residential AC distributor. And he says that 90% of his sales are now split systems rather than the old fashioned uh, window units. Yeah, there's, so, uh, that's definitely, I would say one of the things that people are looking for too, because there's a lot of homes that are still you know, on the market and go for sale and then they don't have AC. Um, when they have a split system, it's such a bonus. I know for just you know, incoming buyers and whatnot, that is one of those things where it's on their checklist these days, like AC, you know, mm -hmm. at least split um, because the wall, I mean, the window units don't work the same as we all know. And then um, if you wanted to jump into some other things that are more, um, we, typically do. I think the next is solar and well, we, we need, yeah. Christina, we need to take a break. So we oh. will we'll take a one minute break and then we will come back and boom, solar is on top of our list. Think Tech Hawaii Code Green back in one minute. Good afternoon again, Howard Wig, Code Green Sync Tech Hawaii, with Christina Lani Mitre, distinguished realtor and Hawaii Energy Partner. That she recently got promoted to that and is an energy efficiency type person. I'm very, very uh, proud of her for that. Christina, we left off by talking about uh, the possibility of putting solar water heating on a roof or putting PV photovoltaics on a roof. And let me point out a little side benefit to that. Put anything like that up on your roof and guess what? That's what the sun strikes and underneath 
you have zero heat gain, zero sun solar gain coming through the roof there. So that's just a teeny little added benefit. You want to talk about uh, water heating and uh, PV, Christina? Yeah, sure. Um, I did recently do a blog on it, so it has a lot more detailed information. Mm -hmm. um, so you, we'll, we'll give you that information towards the end. But the nice thing about it is I did get some quotes, just, I guess, a scenario of somebody who were to do uh, solar and solar PV. So it kind of puts into perspective the return on your investment if you're doing solar water heating or if you're doing PV. Um, and you can see how quickly you would retain your money. So this is definitely something you would consider um, for your own home and especially solar, solar water heater if that's the only thing you're gonna do um, because mm -hmm. it's about 40% of your electricity bill when you're looking at things. And if that's the only thing you do, you can, that's a huge amount of your electricity bill that you would save right off mm -hmm. the top. And, you know, between two and four years, you know, just recoup that. And the one thing we haven't really mentioned yet is all the rebates that you can get and tax mm -hmm. credits that you can get mm -hmm. for both of these, which is money back in your pocket at the end of the day. Um, and Hawaii Energy has a really long list of great mm -hmm. benefits that you can take advantage of as a homeowner. Um, and if you're buying any type of like Energy Star uh, appliances or you're looking at even split ACs, they actually have rebates for split ACs and then also solar options as well. So, you know, just look on there and see what they have um, and you'll be able to, you know, take advantage of those which often you know, offset your final costs. So. Absolutely. And just with regard to solar water heating, you get a federal tax credit, you get a state tax credit, and Hawaii Energy throws even more money at you. It's just like you're almost walking away for free. Not, not quite. Not <laughs> yet, but, uh, but especially if you have a family, how about a teenage daughter who likes to take half hour showers? and whose main hobby is washing clothes, washing clothes. You have a tremendous hot water load and the solar guys, the installers, the ones who get up on the roof there, they are all experienced. We have the most sophisticated solar water heating industry in the nation and they know how to size. They'll ask how many people in there and they'll look at your sun regime and so forth. And they size it for just taking care of 90% of the hot water load. In fact, they take care of 100%. And as Christina said that the old resistance heaters could be 40% of your entire bill. It goes down to virtually zero. That's a tremendous, tremendous investment there. And Christina, you mentioned the Energy Star appliances. Those are the appliances with the little blue logos in them. Tell us something about what Energy Star is all about. Well, those are designated for more efficient type of appliances. So if you are looking and comparing um, pricing or even like, you know, starting to get a new, something broke down and you need to get a new one, um, I would definitely look for the Energy Star options. Um, and then you can also, there's also places like Restore Honolulu and you know a lot of times they will get in products that come in because it's um, maybe they're no longer making the model but it's a brand new product and sometimes they have energy star as well so I mean it's not always something that's like the high-end price point that you're worried about getting so if mm -hmm. you do see it it does help and then you can also check and see if you can get that rebate from Hawaii Energy because that's important mm -hmm. too. And that's what Hawaii Energy specializes in, is encouraging you to buy the most efficient possible appliances. And then they'll give you a nice uh, hefty uh, rebate uh, for that. Just with regard to re refrigerators, first comes water heating, then in terms of the big energy users, it's a refrigerator. If you have a 20 year old refrigerator, 25 years old, it might be costing you in energy one, oh, let's see, using 1,400 kilowatt hours a year, trade that in for the same size 
Energy Star refrigerator with all the new bells and whistles, 400 kilowatt hours a year. You're reducing by 1,000 kilowatt hours. And as you well know, a kilowatt hour costs about 29 cents. So you're saving right off the bat $290 reduced energy bill just from that. That's the best of all possible worlds. But is that a good example of uh, what Energy Star is all about, Christina? Yeah, I mean, and you can also feel good about contributing to your planet, I guess, too, right? I mean, it's not just money sometimes. And um, more and more, it is becoming um, something that you're doing from the heart for the planet. So take that into consideration, too. <laughs> and uh, some, something I would uh, point out is that you and I, Christina, both believe very heavily in daylighting. I'm sitting in a beautifully daylit uh, space at the moment. And if you have solar heat radiating on a window, so you feel compelled to close the curtains all the time, you might consider having a professional installed window film on the, out, on the inside of the window. That blocks out as much as 70% of the sun's heat and takes away all the UV, ultraviolet rays, so you're not destroying any of the furniture or rugs. And you can open up the curtains and get daylighting and daylighting is good. Speaking of which, health and comfort to me, when you're shooting for energy efficiency, Christina, don't health and comfort come into the equation also? Yes, um, actually we, just partnered with a wellness magazine for our mm -hmm. group because it's um, they kind of cater to the green realtors and it's something that we're pushing out just now to and we're going to have a magazine every month that's a digital magazine that you can look at but it's just on wellness for your home and it's actually really cool because when it comes to wellness in your home with COVID, obviously, it's a big thing now. I mean, you want to be as clean as possible and find ways to, you know, how do you make your, your home more healthy, less toxic? So there's a lot of things involved and it's not just, um, you know, the toxic chemicals that you might have in your house or, you know, the materials that you use. It's also the air quality as well. So I know if you're a home that has central AC and everything like that, you know, there is some filtration involved, but when you don't and you have airflow, maybe Howard, you want to talk more about that? Cause I know you, you have a passion for ventilation. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, uh, I'm putting on, I'm working with Hawaii Energy as a matter of fact, to put on webinars about UVC lighting, ultraviolet C lighting. And as I studied the topic, the more I see that the worst possible conditions for the spread of the COVID is when you have a lot of people clustered together without masks with poor airflow. So whatever you can do to promote airflow, as in homes that are open to the trade winds, and we're having beautiful trade winds these days, the healthier is the environment, the less is the accumulation of the COVID, possible accumulation. So the more you can do to promote airflow, the better. And that, that's one reason why we in Hawaii are so healthy is we spend a lot of time outdoors or we spend uh, time in spaces that have really, really good uh, airflow uh, going through them. So we've got just a few minutes, uh, Christina. Why don't we uh, bring up <clears throat> uh, the slides if, if we could? Okay. Give me. Oh, here, here's the first slide. What is all this about? Uh, so this is what you have been mentioning in regards to the clean energy allies with Hawaii Energy. And um, Hawaii Energy is a great partner and they are really pushing very hard to help Hawaii homeowners and residents uh, in a home to be more energy efficient. And with that list that you see there, um, there's a whole bunch of different uh, distributors or you know architects or anything in this these different categories where you can go onto their website and go to that link and look up a contractor um, that fits you know their specific niches and then um, they just recently added the NAR Green Realtor 
category. So if you have your green designation with the National Association of Realtors and you know you apply through their program and get on their well, that's basically what I did. So, you know, and I am a, you know, certified green designee. And so that's why, um, you know, we're a little bit more active and know a little bit more about green homes and building and how we can service our clients in that manner. And that's what that designation is for. So um, you can check there for other things besides realtors. So when we're talking about solar, are you talking about, you know, ACs and all these different types of installations that you might do? You know, you can just yeah, jump yeah. on there and they're all certified. So you'll be sure to get your rebates as well tagged on to, um, you know, if you're going to do the mm -hmm. AC, then they make sure that you get that rebate as well with your, with your whole total. Beautiful. And all of these, this show will be archived with the Think Tech Hawaii and you'll have, you can just look it up shortly after the program closes and have this, all this information on hand. Why don't we go to the next slide? Okay, resources. Smart Living Hawaii. What is Smart Living Hawaii? Didn't we discuss that earlier? What's that all about, Christina? Um, this is just a blog I, I've been doing this year. So these are some of the blogs that might be beneficial or current right now, especially involving COVID. So, you know, this the solar talk, which is what I was talking about, that blog, you might want to check it out because it has a little bit more details as to how much it would cost for these systems. And then, you know, going down the list, you can, there's energy costs that go up, so things that you can do. And then buyer preferences have changed dramatically during COVID, and this is across the country. So these are some actual things that are here currently in Hawaii that may be relevant for you as a buyer or maybe a homeowner looking to sell. And then the last one is on condos because we've, we're have we seeing a little bit more of a holdup on condos for various reasons and we kind of explain a little bit more there that might be of interest to anybody. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And on Oahu here, I believe that something like 43% of us live in condos. We're pretty densely populated. Uh, a uh, bunch of people here. So that I think that's uh, very, very uh, relevant. Yeah. yeah, that's about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, and why don't we go to the last slide then, or maybe it's not the last slide. Yep, this is just uh, your information. And we have a couple more minutes. Just tell us a little, well, tell us why you're so uh, green, uh, Christina. <laughs> Um, that's such a broad question in a weird way. Um, I guess I would say that the, the focus that I would love to see our team in in the next uh, maybe five, 10 years would be a green realtor. And where we focus on green homes and sustainability um, building, you know, sustainably. But in addition to that, it's also led into agriculture as well. So I know farming is a big thing and having and being able to have a community garden, if you're in a condo or whether you're, you know, wanting your own garden to grow food is an option as well. We want to help and service Hawaii in that matter. And last but not least, affordable housing. So that's a huge one that tugs in my heart. Um, when you start working with affordable housing and the state and federal side, um, those have to be and meet the standards of, you know, what you work on, Howard, with building codes mm -hmm. and everything. So a lot that comes on the pike are almost or pretty much LEED certified, you know, projects that come down. Mm -hmm. So I always like to help um, in whatever capacity I can, whether it's from the homelessness all the way to maybe purchasing, you know, a workforce housing or reserved housing units for first time mm -hmm. home buyers. So that's kind of just one area that I like to focus on. And a lot of those new products are actually a more greener home too. Yeah. And yeah. That, that leads to something near and dear to my heart, namely uh, tiny homes, homes that are 1,000 square feet or smaller. And they're becoming very much more popular. For one thing, we don't have many of the big families that we had in the uh, old days. And now we have fewer and fewer people per uh, residence or a condo, one or two people is very typical. And you can, 
if you really get along together, you can fit into 450 square feet very easily. The, the furniture and everything is totally accommodative of that. And we now, part of my job is permitting. You, you are now permitted to have an ADU accessory dwelling unit in your backyard. And we're working with permitting for uh, homeless uh, shelters also. Wow, I, I would love to learn more about the homeless shelters that you're working on. So I'll have to talk to you about that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I am not seeing a notification that we are supposed to be done, but I think I'm gonna take the initiative and say, Christina, it has been a great pleasure being with you today. And again, your information is posted. The, the program will be archived just as early as this afternoon so people can get your information and uh, contact you. So with that, I will build, bid fond adieu to you, Christina, and the Think Tech Hawaii Code Green. See you next time. Thank you.